so hi everyone google has just now released a new series of vision models that is polygamma 2 which is an extension of the polygamma 1 model so if you might be knowing gamma is their text to text model and polygamma is their vision to image to text model so in this particular series they have released three models of sizes as you can see here 3b 10b 28b and can take up input resolutions as 20 224 448 and 896 so the model looks decent enough i was just trying the model out on google collab so let's see how you can start using the model straight away as the models are completely open sourced so let's get started so as you can see here you need to get started by first of all pip installing the latest version of transformers by git plus and the git repo name then bits and bytes and accelerate I'm using bits and bytes because I was trying to use a 10B model, which is not getting getting enough memory on Google Colab. Hence, I'm using the quantization of 4-bit. But if you have enough hardware, you can go with the full version. Once done, the rest of the code remains quite easy as we have been using for other models as well. Transformers import auto processor, polygamma for conditional generation, pill import image request, transformers in bits and bytes. This is optional import torch now here you can see that you need to provide your hugging face token as well which is free to create just create your read token from hugging face and then use it directly here now this is the model id that i'm using that is polygamma 2 10b but as the original version is not getting fit in the google collab memory i'm using 4-bit quantization here if you have enough hardware you can straight away go with this particular line that i have commented else go with the bits and bytes config which will load the model in 4-bit quantization. You need to create this bits and bytes config and then while calling from pre-train, you need to pass this config here. That's it. Now the model is ready to use. You need to transfer the model to CUDA. Auto processor from pre-train, this will help you to pre-process the image that you're providing. So the first prompt that I'm providing is caption the image and I'm providing a cat image here. As you can see, let me show you the image as well. So this is the image that I am using. Two cats are there sitting on some sort of a net. Let's see how it outputs. Now I'm providing the image URL, then opening the image.open request.get from the URL that I've passed and converting it into RGB. Then I'm passing the processor object that we have created above for pre-processing the image and passing the pipeline to CUDA, that is the GPU. So don't forget to enable your GPU also in Google Colab. That is on the top right if you already know. Here, as you can see, T4 is connected. You need to do that if you're using Google Colab. Once done, processor.decode output zero and skip special token. Once done, the model start downloading. As you can see, the model size, if you're using 4-bit quantization, shouldn't be that big. As you can see, about 5 GB is here. Now, this is the output that I got for the image. Short of two cats laying on a pile of brown fishing net. The cat in the foreground. Pretty decent. I think just remember that we are using 4-bit quantization as well. Hence, the text that the English text that has been generated might not look uh, really polished. But I think it is able to capture out what was the image about. Now, this is the second image that I am providing. This is I have taken from Wikipedia. Example.png. Here, some text is written. I will show you the image as well. Again. So this is this is just an example some yellow border uh, a little complicated image i would say um, again i'm following the same pattern e up view of white surface with a yellow border on it there is a yellow so basically it is not able to get the ocr out of that image that i was expecting but no worries i think still the model is quite good and it might be the case that i'm using the 4-bit quantization version the hence the results aren't that great but i think the model looks good you can try out the model. The three variants are present 3B, 10B, and 28B. Try these models out and let us know how you feel about Pali Gamma 2. Thank you so much.